tense moments when the Anchorage Assembly followed through on a pledge to override two of the mayor's vetoes. New at five, we are looking at the privacy issues at the center of this debate. Here's Lauren Maxwell. The vetoes that were overridden deal with something very specific. They involve city negotiated water rights on the Aklutna River. But in a bigger sense, the issue is about who has the power to make decisions that affect the public, the assembly or the mayor. What we're seeing is an administration that operates under the premise that they have every right to do whatever they want, whenever they want, however they want. Frustrated assembly members say they had no choice but to subpoena documents the administration says are confidential. It's an agreement they say the mayor signed off on without their input, which they also say is not right. The documents detail a legally required plan to restore water flow to the Aklutna River, as well as provide drinking water to the city. What's unprecedented is not the assembly executing subpoenas to uh, be provided access, unfettered access to documents that the administration has signed, but that we're being blocked by our own attorneys, which is shocking. The assembly has seen the documents, but wants to take another look with their own attorneys. The city has said utilities, which are also involved in the deal, would have to agree. A press release from the mayor's office that characterized Tuesday's assembly meeting as, quote, sparking a firestorm, saying assembly members seemed to, quote, lack a basic understanding of confidentiality. It went on to say municipal attorney Ann Hexler explained that these parties would have to waive confidentiality, a concept the assembly seemed unable to grasp. Assembly members have pledged to keep the information in the documents confidential for now, but say they have every right to look them over closely. They say they want to determine if the deal is in the public's best interest and whether the public should get a chance to see them too. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source.